Welcome to Coach's Corner, Cav fans. Uh, week 13. Hard to believe that we're uh, this far along, but I guess thankful that we are still still playing uh, in, in week 13. Uh, this week, uh, we will travel back to Piqua on Friday night, and, um, and we will play the Brookville Blue Devils, a little bit outside of Dayton there to the west and to the north a little bit. So before we get to the, the, the Blue Devils, uh, recap of, of uh, CHCA last week. Um, you know, they came in uh, um, with, with one loss, but the uh, number two seed in our region. And, and with a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, offense, a lot of offense and, and really beating teams pretty, pretty, pretty good. So we, so we went into the game not really sure of how we would stack up with them. But uh, we found out pretty quick that we, we felt pretty good about uh, some of the matches we had. And, and maybe more importantly, um, how hard we would play and, and, and stop some of the things that they did best. So... Um, Offensively, uh, we, we kept, kept doing what we've done pretty much all year. We spread the wealth with several guys, um, several guys scoring touchdowns and, and several guys getting some rush yards and several guys catching the ball. And so, so again, uh, we really spread the wealth. PD Post probably had the best day with over 100 yards rushing and, and, and over 100 yards uh, receiving. So, so that was an outstanding day for PD. Jack was 18 for 20. Aaron Hardeman had two running touchdowns from his wideout spot. Uh, Craig Shaner had some some outstanding plays. Kyle McKibben caught a touchdown pass. So, um, so we spread the wealth really well, um, and, and and the O line played excellent again in protecting Jack and, and just getting on blocks and staying on them. So so really happy with the offense defensively. Um, our main goal was to stop their run. Even though they were a spread team, they really really tried to run the ball. Very similar to us last year with with a fullback and a quarterback, and I think combined they had about 60 yards rushing between the two of them. So. Uh, once we got them into, uh, you know, got ahead and, and, and were stopping the run pretty well, it made it really difficult for them. So uh, really proud of the defense. And then finally the kicking game was, was again, once again, outstanding. Um, you know, our kickoff team has been excellent. Kyle continues to kick the ball inside the five and uh, in the end zone uh, most of the time. And, and we, we make teams go the long haul, so that's, that's been excellent. We haven't had to punt, but a, but a few times all year. Um, and so, so the punt return team and, and – uh, and the PA team field goal have, have been been really solid. So, so we're getting the ball, getting the ball back. We're winning the field position with that kicking game. So, so really, really happy with our team. Moving on to Brookville, they are the number one seed. Uh, they are undefeated uh, this year, 12-0. Um, so they come in with a lot of confidence. They come in with a team that has a lot of seniors. I think only two, three underclassmen starting. Very similar to us. Um, uh, just just kind of watching their film and watching their players that they, they very much are like a Mac team I would say like a Marion local or like us and, and uh, Anna and Delphus and, and say Henry they, they in Versailles they just have a lot of good high school football players I wouldn't say they have any great players that are going to go play division one or anything like that a bunch of good hard-nosed tough tough uh, <laughs> tough football players that that know how to play and and, and are aggressive and, and they're going to going to play the whole game um, Offensively, um, they, they, they really prefer to run the ball. They spread a little bit, but for the most part, they would prefer to line up with two tight ends and three backs and, and just try to run it, up, run, it up, uh, run it up your rear, so to speak. And if they could do that and not throw it all, they'd probably, probably do that the whole game. Kind of remind me of Liberty Benton from last year that we played at, uh, I think, I believe at the same time in the, in the regional finals. And so uh, we got our work cut out for us in stopping their run. And then uh, if we can do that and get them in a passing situation, I, th I think that probably is uh, uh, good for us. Offensively, uh, we want to try to continue to, to spread the wealth. Uh, they come in with a 4-3 defense, um, and so they sit in that four-man front. Uh, we, we've, got, you know, we've seen them three four times, and, and they haven't not changed that against spread teams. So uh, we feel like we'll get that, but you never know. They could change that. Uh, they do not have not shown a lot of blitzing, so, so uh, but, but certainly we always throw that in there just to make sure. So, so we've seen several four four man front teams and several three mans this year. So, a uh, good challenge for us this week uh, down at Piqua against uh, the Brookville Blue Devils. About a pretty equal distance uh, for both of us. We do like Piqua. Uh, it's right off the highway, easy access. Um, you know, we were there last week. We're the visitors again, so we'll be in our white. But uh, their stadium is pretty pretty much equal on both sides. So uh, looking forward to the challenge. Uh, lastly, uh, injury, or a couple things, I guess. Injury-wise, we're really healthy still. Uh, no varsity players are, are, are injured, for, and uh, everybody will play this week, so that, that's a good sign. 
And then lastly, I really like to, uh, a couple times, alluded to other people that have been involved in our program and things like that. So I'm going to check my notes here a few times, so if I look down, that's why. Uh, but all those, all those people that have really helped us uh, support-wise, uh, directly or indirectly, uh, with, the, with the football team, so much appreciated. And there's so many people involved that, that I just want to take a few minutes here to, to, uh, to uh, express my thanks to those people. So kind of going down the list, our trainer is uh, Tiffany. Tiffany Richling, she's originally from St. Henry, is, is doing a heck of a job for us. Uh, the bus drivers, Merle, Rob, and, and Scott, have taken us to every game this year. Uh, away game, and hopefully that will continue all the way to Columbus. Uh, Stats, Chris, and Rod, and John uh, do, do a great job. Um, there's four of them. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on, on one of their names here. Uh, hopefully it will come back to me before we leave. Um, film. Film, we really have three, three, three guys that help us film in different ways. Uh, Scott films the up, up, Scott Kramer, the side uh, up in the box. Um, Rob Schmidt is helping with our new end zone camera, and certainly then Mike Spriggs has all the highlights from, from, the, from the ground level that are really cool. And then Caden Seitz helps us in, in the film process of, of plugging in information, so, so we really appreciate that. Uh, up at school, Eric, uh, and certainly as our AD, Eric Goodwin, along with Kathy and, and Gretchen, um, secretaries in the office, and then Toby Seifring certainly helps a lot at the stadium and getting things ready and all those types of things. Um, so all those that volunteer at games, whether that's ticket takers, uh, you know, all the, all the people that, that uh, help get the field ready. Uh, Mitch Bosco and his custodial staff, Dale and Roger and, and Mitch probably spend the most time. Dale takes care of our field, um, does all the lining and cutting the grass and all that kind of thing. Really appreciate that. All the restaurants, uh, Thursday night meals, McSober's, Country Club, Southside, Eagles, the Grill on Main that, that each week trade off and, and uh, have some great, great meals for our guys on Thursday nights. McSports and the Mr. Shop. If we need anything, uh, McSports, certainly we get a lot of our equipment from them. And then uh, the Mr. Shop with Gary Bruns uh, has really helped us when we'd have torn jerseys or anything like that. We just zip it up there to him, and he takes care of it. Appreciate that. Cafeteria, Cindy, uh, Cindy Gear always helps us out on Friday nights with the meals. And certainly I can't, can't uh, um, certainly have to thank all those parents, especially the senior parents that, that every year, take on the task of uh, decorating and, and meals and meal money and Thursday night meals and and I'm sure they'll help out with the banquet so there's so many people and, I, and hopefully I didn't miss anybody um, that uh, help us so much in, in so many different ways and I really want to take some time to thank those people and if I missed anybody um, I apologize and and so um, Friday night Piqua at Piqua versus Brookville Blue Devils 730 will be in our white go Cavs <laughs>